This video demonstrates how to properly run the Visby Medical Respiratory Health Test, a powerful new force for diagnostic testing of infectious diseases. Begin by setting up your workstation with a device, respiratory health buffer tube, pipette, and power adapter. Change gloves before each test to avoid contamination and keep your workspace clean. Plug the device into the power adapter and remove the protective strip over the sample port. A stable white power status light will turn on, indicating the test is receiving power. If the power light does not turn on, or if the power light blinks, refer to the instructions for use for additional support. Place the swab into the buffer tube and break the handle at the break point before replacing the cap. The sample is stable in the respiratory health buffer up to two hours at room temperature or up to 48 hours if refrigerated. Gently invert the patient sample five times to mix. Open the tube. Squeeze the upper bulb of the pipette and submerge the tip to the bottom of the tube. Release the upper bulb slowly to collect the fluid. Ensure there are no air bubbles. Overflow fluid will enter the lower bulb, indicating the pipette is fully filled. Insert the pipette tip into the sample port and squeeze the upper bulb to add the fluid. Do not set the pipette down. Immediately discard it according to your institution's guidelines. Slide the switch closed to start the test. Check that the first progress indicator light is blinking. Progress indicator lights will initially blink and then become stable as the test progresses. Do not move the device while the test is running. Once the test is started, the results will be ready in approximately 30 minutes. The results are ready when the green light appears. Once the test is complete, a purple spot next to results valid along with the green light indicates the test is valid. If the test is valid, any shade of purple with distinct edges is considered a spot. The intensity of purple may vary. For this example, the sample is positive for flu A and negative for both flu B and COVID-19. If the results valid spot is missing, the test is invalid. If the test is invalid, follow the procedure in the instructions for use to retest or contact customer support. Dispose of the device and other materials according to your institution's guidelines. For more information, please see the Visby Medical Respiratory Health Test Instructions for Use. Contact us directly at support at visby.com or call 1-833-GO-VISBY for any additional questions or support.